She's 48 and 0? 48 and 0. Okay, so Jade, break this down. The brace to 50. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Hell, we might as well brace ourselves for 100 at this point. And you're familiar with the run that Goldberg was on, like in like when I was a kid. I'm familiar. I'm very familiar. I, I feel like they're kind of setting you up to have a similar path. Yeah, I can see that. But like, this is Jade Cargill's show, so like, I, it sounds great and everything. Phenomenal, phenomenal uh, wrestler he was. But he was okay. I, Let's be honest. Well, okay. Well, he wasn't I'm, This is my legacy. And he the, was and big, the fact- though. He was big. <laughs> he looked the part. Yeah, he did. <laughs> hey, I looked the part. But I'm only going to get better. Like, yeah. and all, all the women that I'm being compared to, they've been doing this for five, six, seven, mm-hmm. eight years with the best trainers, repetition, house shows. And I'm just out there just winging it and doing the best I can on live TV. I think everybody should be grateful that they're seeing this product come to light. Right. So for people who don't know, uh, you're fairly new to wrestling. Yes. Uh, how long before, you, like, was it Mark Henry that found you? Yes. How long... Like, are we talking here from like the t- first time you got into a a, a gym and uh-huh. started trying to learn how to take bumps and yeah. and stuff like that to now? <sighs> two years. So it's not even that. Years. Not even that. Not even that. Not and, even that. And like most, so other promotions, right? There's well, the big, the big other big promotion, right? There's house shows yes. th- throughout the week. Yep. That aren't on TV, so people can kind of like learn without it being like memed. With the same partner, yes. Right. Yeah, you, you, usually on the house shows, you always are wrestling with the same person. Yeah. You guys, you know. That you're on TV with. So yes. you're just kind of like really out here. Obviously, you're training when you're yes. not on TV. But like all your high pressure situations, you're we're kind of going through it with you. On yeah. TV, so. I mean, for example, the first time I used a chair, I remember uh, CM Punk was like, you have to choke it up like this. And like, because they were like, oh, yeah, you're going to use a chair. I was, I'm going to use a chair. I've never used a chair in my life. How do I use a chair? And no one gave me instructions other than him to show me how to use a chair. And I had to perform this on live TV. And we'll see him punks the goat. That's why. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So He's wait, a great so, guy. You, so you you used the chair for the first time ever. Ever. On TV. On TV. How'd that go? To- uh, it was pretty interesting. That was a pretty, uh, that was uh, last year. Let's just move forth. I've learned my lesson and uh, it's going to get better. Because how, because for people, because there's a, an art to everything. Yes. And I'm a huge wrestling fan and I always tell people like, I feel like wrestling is one of the most, di- like, it, it is art. It is art. I, I love that you said that. Yes, it, it is, is art. It is an art form that is of the highest difficulty, physically, uh, emotionally, mentally. mentally, all of that stuff. Uh, and there is an art to everything you guys do, including how to hit somebody with a fucking chair so yep. you don't kill them. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you do it? I can't tell you that. Wait, you're trying <laughs> to get me like, caught up over here. <gasps> but... I will say that it is it is an art. You don't want to completely destroy your opponent where they can't come back next week and perform or something like that. But it's all an art. We're artists and we're trying to paint a, a picture for a story of course. that our audience can follow and just respect. And of course, like you have to, you guys have to trust each other in the ring because yes. everybody is trying to get home at the end of the day. Yes. Yeah. Very much so. 